Hope everyone enjoyed the weekend. We had a few clouds around. Temperatures were in the 70s on Sunday. And if you're craving for some real summer, like the heat, the humidity, you don't have to go very far away. Minneapolis, 82. Des Moines was 86, as well as Kansas City, where the humidity was really cranked up. How about some hot weather? 92 in North Platte, Denver at 93. And look at the triple-digit heat. 110 in Boise, Vegas, and Phoenix. Now, it's common for Vegas and Phoenix, but not for Salt Lake City and Boise, Idaho. Just sizzling out to the west. Morning lows here, very comfortable. Free air conditioning. At least, you know, the quieter weather and the cooler weather has kept the AC bills down and have better nights of sleeping if you don't have AC. 61 in Milwaukee to Kenosha, 55 Waukesha and 60 in Beaver Dam. We have some sunshine, we have some clouds and we even had some scattered rain showers. 63 right along the lakefront in Port Washington with that light southeasterly breeze. We've had some sprinkles and showers early this morning and now once again this afternoon as expected seeing some showers and thunderstorms popping up. We could hear a few rumbles of thunder, brief downpour of rain but not expecting any severe weather. Uh, as of 1 o'clock, Waterloo, uh, Lake Mills, Whitewater, they were all seeing some heavier downpours working their way through the region. Your weather headlines, the spotty showers and downpours will be in the forecast not only for this afternoon, but for tomorrow afternoon as well. Cool breeze with us all week long. It's going to be comfortable inland, but a little cool at the lakefront. The pick day looks to be Friday, and the 4th of July looks to be great. Temperatures right now, as of 1 o'clock in the afternoon, in the 60s, 70s. Very comfortable, those 60s right along the lakefront. Milwaukee wet did have a high of 73. Now with that easterly wind, the temperature is beginning to drop. 10 miles per hour is the uh, wind speed in Kenosha and three out towards Watertown. Your highs today? Well, it was 73 in Milwaukee. As I mentioned, now starting to drop a little bit. And at the lakefront, you're stuck in the 60s. Inland areas will get into the mid-70s. We'll have these scattered showers and downpours around throughout the afternoon into the early evening hours, and they quickly dissipate. It'll be a quiet night tonight, but patchy fog will develop by morning. And then by tomorrow afternoon, a little bit of heating. We're going to have a west to northwest wind. That'll keep the lake breeze from developing until afternoon. We'll get this heating going, and with that, we'll get these popcorn showers to develop throughout the afternoon as well. Not everyone will see them. They will be light, they will be brief and annoying, but they will be around in the afternoon with that little bit of heating, and then it quiets down once again tomorrow evening. Summerfest forecast for Tuesday when the gates open at noon. Northwesterly wind at 6, 71 degrees, and then that lake breeze will kick in northeasterly, and temperatures begin to drop, and you'll also see those spotty showers throughout the afternoon as well. High temperatures around the noon hour will be in the low to mid 70s everywhere, and then it will start to cool down along the lakefront as that northerly wind becomes more northeasterly. But even the lakefront will get into the lower 70s before that wind does begin to shift. Your forecast for today, 73 degrees. Temperatures already begin to drop in Milwaukee. Scattered thunder showers throughout uh, the afternoon to the early evening and then patchy fog overnight and a low of 58. Your seven day forecast, 70s the next couple of days but becoming cooler at the lakefront, 68 here in Milwaukee on Wednesday, but inland's in the 70s. It'll be 71 on Thursday. Friday, gorgeous day at 74 degrees. How about the 4th of July at 76 and plenty of sunshine? A little more humid on Sunday with some thunderstorms and 80.